Hello all of my children and my intimidators. Today's topic of the video is me. I wanted to be noticed. I wanted to be appreciated for who I am. And I love watching TV and I love making people laugh, so I thought why not become an actress? not genetic. You can't, you can't always blame things on your genes because you gotta uh, line. In 2009, I started teaching myself how to film and how to edit videos. I did it because I loved it, because it made me happy. Con los terroristas. <laughs> <laughs> However, there's always a point in time where things get in the way. As a child, I thought it was tough to become an actress without the help of your parents. However, my parents had their own issues to deal with. My mom needed to save herself before helping me. And my dad, he needed an escape from reality. Unfortunately, his escape was his weakness. Hello, children of the world. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Amber. Uh, I look kind of emotional, and I am. I depended on my parents for help, and it took away a lot of control over my life. Living in the society we live in, I felt like I had no other option but to depend on them. Feeling like I had no power over my own career, I looked for something to give me some sort of control over my life. I created a YouTube channel. Hello, my children. Let me take a selfie. I thought if there's anything I could have control over, it would be that. I loved making videos. Loved it. Making people laugh through YouTube gave me so much confidence in my career choice as a comedian. However, generally, I wasn't the most confident in myself. I was told I wasn't good enough, that I wasn't pretty enough, and I was treated like an outcast. I was never stuck with one group of people, and that sort of separated me from getting close to anyone. I felt like the reason why was because of my appearance. I ended up dedicating so much time into perfecting my makeup, my hair, my skin, my clothes, to losing weight, to the point where it was my only focus. Let's do this. I'm debating. Like, I'm scared because I'm still, like, adjusting to these calories. It eventually corrupted my intentions of becoming a comedic actress. The outgoing and carefree person I once was began to disappear. All of these elements in my life began to make me feel like I had lack of control and I didn't know which direction my life was taking me. 2010 is when I began to lose control over my life. Four years later, in 2014, I lost myself. <laughs> Towards the end of the school year, I was hit with something called depersonalization, an anxiety disorder that makes you feel like you're living behind a screen, sort of like you're dreaming every single day, and that at any moment you could wake up from like some coma. I went to a physical doctor and they said they saw nothing wrong with my vision. I became extremely depressed. I felt like I had no control before, but now I'm mentally disorientated and feel like I will never have the control I need over myself. What is this? I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know. Everything's an illusion. Just everything's not real. <laughs> everything's not real. Everything's not real. My mom saw this as a spiritual opening, as though I began to see life for what it truly is. So she showed me several documentaries based on spirituality, introducing meditation, afterlife, and reincarnation. It made me see how I can take this experience as a blessing rather than a curse. This is what made me realize how interesting life truly is. I now see everything was once nothing. Before God, before the Big Bang, it was all just space, nothing. But in some way, nothing is technically something. 
So it's like a never ending cycle of something created from nothing. So I question why laws, why rules, where did structure even come from? Gravity, feeling, taste, oxygen, orbits, impossibilities. What makes something impossible? What makes me not able to do the impossible? These things started to not make sense to me. The views I had on life completely changed. What I considered to be real became unreal, unreal became real. Everything, I started noticing all the contradictions life had. For example, a unicorn. We consider a unicorn non-existent, unreal, but why? We can't see it in person, we can't feel it, we can't touch it. However, we can see it in our mind and we created it through imagination. So in some way, it has some sort of form to reality to it. It's real in a different form. But then I do have questions of life, such as why can't an apple appear in my hand? I should be able to, because there's no reason that it shouldn't be. There's no real explanation because everything's just created, everything's just here, created from nothing, nothing created from something. So it confuses me, it baffles me. I was so structured into thinking that things are just the way it is. We have universe laws and we can't do anything about it. So now I just believe everything I want, I already have. And next thing you know, it was all true. I believe we're creators. Greatness is not this godlike feature. It's something that truly exists in all of us. You attract what you feel, what you are. I wanted a job. I had no experience. I was too young to work, but I needed a job. So for so long, I just told myself, you know, I can't get a job, can't get a job. So I never got a job. And then eventually I just thought, you know what? I have the job. It's not here in the present, but it's in the future. And the future is happening right now. So I have it right now. A month later, my friend calls me saying that I can go in for an interview at his job because they need workers. Next thing you know, I had a job. These difficulties and obstacles should have no reason to prevent me from pursuing my life, the life I'm creating. I'm now a new person. I now see the world in a new perspective that gives me the control in my life that I needed. I can finally say I'm happy. Life is not written. My life does not control me. The universe does not control me. I am my own creator. I am the reason why I am here. I am in control.